our intrepid team of volunteers from the Cannabis Embassy flew into Geneva from Virginia, California, New Zealand and Spain to attend the treaty negotiations on genetic resources and traditional knowledge in Geneva, Switzerland. Our volunteers were very pleased to be there to play their part in this landmark treaty that has been in negotiations for the last 10 years. Luckily it was summer in Geneva and spirits were high and everybody was ready to rock by the 13th of May 2024. The negotiations took various twists and turns, complicated texts being negotiated word for word over 11, 12 hour days. You can see in the faces of our team that the weariness starts to set in as you have to concentrate. Interiors designed to reflect the international nature of these particular proceedings with everybody from all corners of the earth being made to feel welcome at these big events in Geneva. South Africa was most certainly represented at the Palais de Nation, as were many, many indigenous communities who made for an incredibly colorful display of their nationalities, traditional dress, languages, mannerisms, cultures, and everything that really warms our hearts about being involved with these high level, big picture, treaty negotiations, meetings between various civil society groups around the world, negotiations on international drug policy. When we go home from our cannabis embassy events, we can at least carry with us a little note of hope in a world that is becoming increasingly difficult to negotiate in terms of everybody just getting on and living in peace and harmony. We will never stop to try to advance the mission of peace and goodwill among men. And obviously, with the cannabis plant at heart, we will never stop to try and do the good for the people wherever we are in the world. Dear Mr. President, dear friends from around the world, we congratulate the President and Vice Chairs on their election and thank the Secretariat for its work. In order to promote harmony with nature and defend the rights of indigenous people and local communities, this instrument must include, one, any disclosure of patents based on genetic resources or associated traditional knowledge should prove free prior informed consent was obtained from the legitimate rights holders. Two, this instrument must mention indigenous customary laws since they are the only way to ascertain legitimate rights holders. Three, fair and equitable access and benefit sharing must be acknowledged. Four, digital sequence information must be included in the definition of genetic resources. Five, sanctions must include the option of patent revocation for incomplete and inaccurate disclosures. Chair, this instrument is a historic opportunity to repair ecological relationships harmed by the centuries of biopiracy and cultural extermination created by colonialism. We affirm the necessity of peace and respect for human rights for cooperative preservation of genetic resources and traditional knowledge. May this treaty be rooted in compassion and respect. Thank you. Thank you. We are. <laughs> the delegation. Yes, we made it. We made it to Geneva. You look so flash. It's too formal. We are tired. Tired after what? Four days only? Three days? Three days. Three days of diplomatic conference. Uh, witnessing this uh, discussion on every comma, every word on the treaty. Um, three days, and we have how many left? A lot. A lot more right. left. So it's difficult to do an update at this point because all countries are sort of engaging, saying we would like that too, like this. It's a bit um, contradictory and confusing. A lot of proposals in one direction, but already we can see some some sort of 
alignment or maybe loose coalition of, of countries in one direction or, or the other forming. So, like, it starts to, to take uh, shape a bit. Mm -hmm. I guess we have to see how it evolves in the next day and if it goes in the right direction or not. And while a lot of the discussions are new for us, we also talked to the man who wrote the chair's text um, a few years ago. And so many of the things um, that seem new to us over here for the first time have been discussed extensively, especially among the people from industrialized countries with big industries in pharma and also agriculture who have invented a lot of things and patented a lot of things. And then we also have a lot of indigenous people and local communities um, from around the world who are participating in the dialogue and like share their views and what the impact of this treaty would be for them. So the first day there was uh, member states who were declaring what their priorities are and that's when we first started to see what people value, or what they're bringing to this treaty process and then the NGOs on day two gave their declaration and since then uh, there's been sessions in uh, committees to go over the language and some of the articles. So I've been orienting myself in how these protocols happen in the big uh, hall. And yeah, I just really am here to learn from indigenous peoples and to really listen and lean into what they are demanding out of this treaty process. And so the way the countries are organized, the, they call them regional groups. So there's uh, South American, you know, the, the Latin American group, the uh, Asia Pacific and African, and then there's a sort of Western bloc um, that's got the EU and um, USA, Canada, Japan, uh, New Zealand, Australia, and um, and that's really, I don't think it's any secret, but that's certainly the bloc that seems to uh, have positions strongly uh, aligned with uh, those patent holders and, and the big companies, um, and most of them, to be fair to say, um, yeah, certainly go along with the interests or seem to of, of those um, corporations um, and then it's sort of them against the rest of the world but even within that group there are some countries that um, yeah seem to have uh, more enlightened positions or are thinking more about uh, the interests beyond those of the, the companies uh, within their borders so uh, that's encouraging and uh, there's some strong voices from the NGO sector from the Indigenous Peoples uh, Caucus which is a group of um, organizations obviously representing indigenous communities uh, at the tribal level and from all over the world um, and so it's really good having them and they're almost treated as their own group of countries uh, which is good to see and, and WIPO is special in that, that way this organization has created that opportunity for indigenous peoples to have a really uh, strong voice so we get to have a say in the committees and, um, and don't have to always rely on uh, a country to back the position of the Gracias, señor presidente. A todas las personas involucradas en el desarrollo de este tratado histórico y en particular los miembros actuales pero también anteriores del Cauca indígena, se acaba de, de mencionar uno. También agradecemos al personal de la OMPI, intérpretes y al personal de limpieza y con poco tiempo os agradecemos a todos y todas de corazón. Celebramos este nuevo instrumento que es un paso en la lucha contra la biopiratería y quisiéramos compartir con, con ustedes dos observaciones. Primero, el tratado exige la divulgación para invenciones basadas en recursos genéticos e informaciones sobre secuencias digitales. Es así porque el texto final aclara que el término basado en significa que los recursos genéticos o conocimientos tradicionales conexos solamente deben ser necesarios y que la invención debe eh, depender de las propiedades específicas. El texto final omite materialmente y directamente, centrándose únicamente en criterios de necesidad y dependencia. Estos criterios eh, se aplican también de forma indirecta y o inmaterial. Eh, por consiguiente, una invención, si depende de los recursos o conocimientos, aunque sea de forma indirecta o inmaterial, debe divulgarse. Si una DSI 
eh, una secuencia de información digital derivada de un recurso genético es crucial para la invención patentada, entonces cumple estos criterios de manera indirecta y inmaterial. El recurso debe divulgarse. Los recursos utilizados en el desarrollo de una invención únicamente están exentos de divulgación si son innecesarios y si la invención es independiente de las propiedades específicas del dicho recurso. Segundo, y termino con esto, alabamos la retroactividad parcial de este tratado. El artículo 4 avanza significamente la legislación internacional sobre derechos humanos, realizando derechos reconocidos en la Carta Internacional de los Derechos Humanos y otros eh, tratados vinculantes y declaraciones de, de la Asamblea General, como la Declaración del, de los Derechos de Pueblos Indígenas y también la de los campesinos y campesinas. Si bien la no retroactividad en el artículo 4 se aplica a la fecha de solicitud de patentes, no se aplica a la fecha de acceso a los recursos genéticos en particular y esta retroactividad parcial respalda los esfuerzos de, de, perdón, eh, respalda los esfuerzos de reparación de los abusos coloniales y postcoloniales activando provisiones de las declaraciones de derechos de pueblos indígenas y de campesinas y campesinos, así como las directrices de Naciones Unidas sobre el derecho a interponer recurso y obtener reparaciones para víctimas de violaciones de derechos fundamentales. Les remitimos a la, la contribución detallada y re, referenciada que, que compartimos eh, con la Secretaría, que incluye eh, más, más detalle y eh, referencias de, de derecho internacional y que compartimos con la Secretaría para su distribución a, la, a las delegaciones. De nuevo, gracias a todas y todos. Enhorabuena y les deseamos un buen eh, regreso a, a casa. Gracias. Good evening. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, we will begin the signing ceremony. And we will also begin by calling the first WIPO member state to sign the final act and treaty. Afrique du Sud. South Africa has signed the treaty. Eswatini. Eswatini. Eswatini has signed the treaty. Lesotho. Lesotho. Lesotho has signed the treaty.
distinguished delegates, excellencies, colleagues, that concludes the signing ceremony for the WIPO Treaty on Intellectual Property, Genetic Resources, and Associated Traditional Knowledge, which has been opened for signature today on May 24th, 2024. Thank you very much.